In this video, I'll be testing out the image to video feature of Minimax or Halo, whatever you call it. And I will be comparing it to Kling AI and also Runway AI. But I will also show you some examples of what you can create with this. Because I've been playing around with this and honestly, it is amazing. So I will be showing you different kind of examples. I will show you how you can generate images with AI. And specifically, we're using Flux for this to generate lifelike images and turn them into video. Now, other than that, I will show you some some examples of different kind of things that you can generate for example vfx like this but before i do that let me show you how the platform works so the first thing you do is you go to halo.video or i call it minimax but they've rebranded to halo right now and what you can do then is you need to sign in and get yourself the new plan so unfortunately, it's no longer free or they still have a free plan, but you can only do like a few generations. It's, it's just not that great. So I would suggest go on either the standard plan or what I would suggest is go on the unlimited plan if you are a big user. Now, I'm on the standard plan right now, but I see this Infinity logo on my account. So for some reason, I don't have credits. I just have Infinity, but I don't complain about it. So try out the standard plan first before you upgrade to the unlimited plan and then go to explore. And here, this is the new interface of Minimax. So what we can do is we can upload our image right there. Then we can give it a prompt and then we have the ability to either toggle on or toggle off the enhanced prompt feature. That's all there is. It's literally that simple. So no much tweaking around, but yeah. Now what we can do is we can upload our image and I've done, for example, this dog right here. So we see my image right there and we just see kind of like a cute slow motion of the dog breathing. To generate our images, we will be using Flux for this. Now, this part is not essential, but it is a very great AI image generator tool that is very realistic and will make some awesome images that you can turn into a video. So for that, go to Black Forest Lab and then you can see the different models that they have. We will be using Flux 1.1 Pro because that's the best one. And if you use any of these links, you can create an account and sometimes you can use some free credits to generate some images with that. Now I'm using fall.ai for this and I just added like 10 bucks to my account because like with like $1, you can generate like 25 images with that. So for to me, this is worth it. It generates more realistic images than Midjourney does. So for example, we can use a prompt like a close up of a man standing on the beach. Now we click on run and this just takes a few seconds and then we get an image like this. So this image already looks very realistic. This could have been taken by an iPhone of someone just standing in close with them. But what you can also do is there is some broken feature within Flux. So here this Reddit forum posted as well. They used a random file name and then an underscore with a number and then dot JPEG or you can also use dot CR2, which is like a Canon RAW file. And then you can generate like lifelike images like this, for example, and use them. So for example, this image, it looks real. Like it looks like it has been shot on a bad camera, but we can use this in Flux. And then we can use, for example, image.1028.cr2, and then we do man. The prompt after that should be pretty short. And then we get an image that looks like this. So yeah, this looks like a selfie or a close-up being taken from like a camera maybe in like 2015 or 2013 but it looks really really real so yeah we can just download this and then we can go to halo or minimax we can put our image in there and now we can describe a man smiling now we click on generate this will cost you 30 credits and then we can generate that video keep in mind this takes some time usually between like five to 10 minutes, I would say. Unfortunately, it's not really fast. And this is the result of that image. Honestly, it looks really, really good. Now, let me give you some other examples of what you can generate with this. So with Flux, I generated this image of a woman and I saw her hand in her pocket. So I was thinking of something fun to do here. So here we have this woman that is taking a gun out of her pocket. So I'm just saying woman pulls a gun out of her pocket. And honestly, it looks really good. Like she's just smiling and then all of a sudden she's like, let me just pull out my gun at this guy right there. Here's another example of a guy lighting a cigar. And this is the image that I made with Flux. 
and this is the video that it has made out of that. I'm quite impressed by how it captures the lighting on his face, the smoke coming out of it. it doesn't look like he quite lights his cigar, but the movement looks very real. We even have the eye bar rays with like the, the lines in his forehead. Honestly, I don't think it gets any better than that. If we compare that to Runway, then you can see I use the exact same image and the exact same prompt using Gentry Alpha Turbo. And this is the video that Runway made. <laughs> it just swallows the cigar. I'm not even sure what's going on there, but yeah, this doesn't look any good. Here I have another easy example that I generated with Flux. So a woman that is just shopping, looks kind of like my girlfriend that is just spending a lot of money. Now, if we play this video, then we can see that, yeah, she looks very happy that she spent all that money on her shopping bags. Now you can also use existing photos. So this image is from Unsplash or Pexels. I'm not sure where it was exactly from, but this is a real image shot on a professional camera. I put it into Minimax and I set woman serving on waves. And this is what it made out of it. So it knows the surfing dynamics. It knows how to move the surfboard through the water. And this is very impressive. So those images were either all generated with Flux or it was like a stock footage. But you can also do this with your own images. Now I have some scarier results for you here. So first of all, I have me that is like drinking a glass of wine. I'm just holding the wine like this. And now I turn it into Flux, I ask it to make a toast and I get this very scary face. But weirdly enough, the movement of the wine glass looks very realistic. If you wouldn't know my exact face, you might think this is a real video. Now let me give you another example of another image that I used. So here I'm eating a slice of pizza. It's not my most charming picture, but I turned it into a video and this is what we got. So I said like men eats a slice of pizza and looks shocked. And honestly, if we take a look at this face, <laughs> that is the most punchable face I've ever seen. But apart from the pizza just appearing out of nowhere, this video is very good. Apart from using real photos, you can also use AI generated photos of yourself. I made this image with Flux using my own face on a model that I trained it on. I've made a video about that. So if you want to watch that, then click the video that's on the screen right now. So here I have this image of myself. And I prompted it to say the camera zooms out as the man looks across his land. So this is what it made out of it. So it just generated that entire scene for us. Now I generated it again with the same prompt. And now it made this video. So I would say if you go with the unlimited plan, you can generate it like five times and just wait for everything to load and then you have five different videos of yourself with whatever prompts you have. If you're unsure what to generate with your images, then use this Flux image prompt enhancer. I will leave a link for that in the description down below and just tell it what you want to generate. For example, I ask it to make a cool, scary robot spider that looks hyper-realistic and frightening. Then it asks you some questions. So I just said like, just create with red eyes and then it makes this prompt for you then you can put that into Flux, so I put the prompt in there, and then I got this image. Now, that image, I downloaded it, I put it into Minimax, and then I did two things. First, I didn't prompt it at all, that generated me this video. Already looks quite good, but then I asked it to walk towards the camera, and then we got this video. And so yeah, there you see the importance of making good prompts for your videos. I also want to dive in a little bit into emotions that you can make with Minimax. Now I'm comparing this to Kling and also Runway. So here I have an image of an old man that is reading a book. Now I ask it in Minimax to make him cry. So this is the video that we got out of that. Just the face expression alone is so realistic. And then we even have him close the book like he's completely done with it. Now I used that exact same prompt and I put it into Runway. So here we can see same image, same prompt. And then we got this video. <laughs> so all he's really doing is just face palming him because I don't know. It's, it just doesn't look as good as the Minimax one. 
Then I did the same thing within Kling AI and within Kling, I asked the same prompt and now we got this. So this one is also pretty good, but not as good as the one that Minimax does. Now, if you go back to Minimax, then I ask it a few different prompts as well. The next one was, he gets so angry and he throws the book into the fireplace. Unfortunately, it didn't quite do it. The book is glitching a little bit, but he got so angry that he even stood up. Then I wanted him to laugh while he was reading the book. And then we got this video. And this one is also really good. You could also use this for VFX. For example, here I ask it to make this car explode. Now, this is what I've made out of that. Fortunately, it doesn't look that good, but I have another VFX that I used and that is drop an anvil on it. And this is what I've made. To give you another example, here I have it again. And here we have it exploding. This one looks a little bit better than the other one. You could just use this on anything. Here I used it on a boat and I asked it to shoot a laser on it and then it catches fire. Now, I would say if you're trying this, you just have to generate over and over again until you get the right one. But here, for example, I used a different prompt and I said the sailboat gets hit by a torpedo and this looks quite good. You can also use VFX on yourself. Here, for example, I have a screenshot of a video of me and then I ask it to have slime follow me. And just the animation with this. I don't know why I'm getting mad. Like I said, I, I get scared, but the slime dropping onto me and me just rubbing it into my face looks very real. Here's another example of an image that I took in Rome and I ask it to make the Colosseum explode and crumble into pieces. <laughs> Looked quite good until that wall dropped down, but Honestly, if you're on a budget and you need VFX, this would work. You can even make the Avengers with AI. For example, here's an image of Thanos snapping his fingers and then dissolving. Unfortunately, this didn't quite work. I've literally tried this over and over again. Just didn't work. Here I have another example. <laughs> it's good, but it's not there yet. So this one completely glitched, but we got the effect that was better. And sometimes you unfortunately have these type of videos. For example, here I try to animate a dog walking in the snow. So here I have this image and I wanted to have a meteor drop down on this. So I tried it multiple times. This explosion was great, but it just, yeah, it's not usable. Then here I tried it again. Also, it doesn't really work. Here I have an image of a fire that is going on and I just wanted it to showcase the fire. So that's literally my prompt. Now it looks quite good. Only the gravel that's going on right here doesn't make any sense unless there's a tornado going on. Lastly, I used one of my thumbnails as a VFX effect. So here I have my thumbnail and then I have like a portal or dimension opening up from my laptop. And I'm quite impressed by the way it looks. I don't like the way my face looks but the animation from the laptop looks honestly quite impressive. So that's how you create videos from images with Minimax. If you have any questions, then drop them in the comments down below. I had so much fun creating this video. And if you want to see more videos where I play around with AI, then check out the video that's on the screen right now.